place was packed. Basically, I'm behind the ball. Everybody's out ahead. Let's see if I can catch them. Or at least some of them. Hey Dean, tell me about your bike. 1986 uh, Bridgestone MV1. Kind of uh, resto modded out with nine speed XTR. My dad gave it to me. That is so sick. Wait, what kind of uh, what kind of bottle cage is that? Let's see, we've got the Wolf Tooth B Rad uh, water bottle extension with the uh, double cage holder side by side. Pretty solid. Hey, tell me about your bike. It's a Santa Cruz Stigmata. Pretty awesome. Running 38 triggers today. Nice gravel tires. That's about it. Sick. No fuss. No muzz. Cookies. Coffee, hard boiled eggs, bacon, cookies, mini old. Yeah, yeah. Mystery yeah. meat. Yeah, you guys are killing it. Route master, Ryan Francone. Do I ever pronounce your last name right? Uh, what are you riding today? Carbon hardtail. The best part, Ron said, ah, 38s will be fine. And Ryan's, I said two inch preferred. people that I've ever seen on any of these rides before. I wonder who keeps spilling the beans on these things, putting the word out on the internet. Hey, tell me about your bike. Six and one centimeter. I'll say nature boy. Oh yeah, it's a single feet. You're either a very special person or something's very wrong with you. A little bit of both. Wasabi, chickpeas, and spicy Thai chili lime. Dustin's just got a, a big sack of salami. Greasy sack of sausage. <laughs> Tandem! Tandem? There it is. Yeah. Mile 20 on the nose. One hour, 54 minutes in. I'm feeling good. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'll check in later. Uh, the directions on the Wahoo say, next right into woods, check. Hey Josh, what are you riding today? Riding a bicycle with crappy tires. Smart ass. I am riding a Diamondback Honjo EXP. It is a carbon drop bar 27.5. Adventure bike with Hi Fi Session 29er wheels and Schwalbe Thunderbirds 2.1s. That's the bike. Pinto beans, tortilla, kale, avocado, and fresh sprouts.
You're so sloppy. Three miles, three hours, 20 minutes in, 4,300 feet of elevation. I'm still feeling pretty good. It might have been because I did intervals this week. It was horrible, but I think it made me stronger. Placebo or not, you decide. Well, that ice is only so long. The ass saver fender flaps worked really good for a little while, but with this mucky mucky stuff, they keep getting stuck in the tire. So, I don't know. Jam volume three in the books. The body is feeling a-okay. I'm definitely tired, but I'm not decimated, which is awesome. So the ride by the numbers, four hours, 51 minutes, 52 miles, and 6,200 feet of elevation. That shit got hairy there more than a couple times. <clears throat> Yo, Dusty K. Just saw your video, Cadillac Gravel. Very nice. Hey, I want to send you a quick note talking about your mechanical discs. Now, the thing is, is mechanical disc is spring-loaded. So when you pull on the lever to actuate the cable, the pad's going to want to return to its place of rest. So as you use your brakes more, the pad's going to wear down. If it returns to its place of rest, they'll start to feel soggy over time because now it has to close more distance as that pad wears down. Hydraulic discs, however, don't do that. As you use them, and the pad wears down, it actually wants to start to fill up that space so more fluid will come into the caliper. So your hydraulics will always feel good over time. You could probably test it out with your other bikes that you have in the shed. Thing is, hydraulic isn't always the easiest thing to work on, but mechanical is super easy to work on. If you're in the field, it's pretty simple just to dial it in a little bit and get a nice crisp feeling. Hopefully that helps and I'll catch you next time.